Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today I'm going to show you how I'm using Voxengo Recorder in Ableton to send my audio to OBS. So Voxengo Recorder is a 32-bit plugin, uh, requires a 32-bit to 64-bit bridger. I'm using JBridge. It's 15 bucks. Works great. Definitely worth the 15 bucks uh, because if anyone's ever tried to get uh, Osseo into OBS, you know how frustrating this can be. So hopefully this video makes it uh, kind of a little less painful for you. Uh, so here's what I'm doing. I throw uh, Voxengo onto my master bus um, and I set the MME device to my Realtek digital output. So I'll show you what's going on with my uh, audio settings. So we'll just go into audio settings and then the control panel. And then in here on playback, I'm using my Focusrite, uh, which is my sound card, as my default device. And then I've enabled uh, the Realtek digital output. I'm not using this as uh, my default device. I just turned it on. Uh, so that's required. Uh, and then in recording, I've got nothing turned on uh, because you don't need it. So back to Ableton here, I've got in my settings here, I've got the osseo for the focus right sound card so uh, you can see i'm going to be using two different drivers here but with this one um i'm using my sound card for my microphone right now um but then obviously it's you know running all the other stuff in ableton but this is set to a 128 buffer at 96 you know kilohertz so it's pretty quick. It's like seven and a half milliseconds. Uh, so I can do this all in real time and basically send my audio, all of my audio into OBS through one shot. So this is all going to OBS in a single instance here, this audio output capture. Uh, so once you open up uh, OBS, you have to go to the little plus sign here and hit uh, audio output capture. That's going to load that in here. You'll get a little pop up. In the pop-up, you want to select the Realtek Digital Output. This is how you link uh, the Voxengo plugin to OBS. So this is what the second uh, that second uh, device is uh, used for in your uh, your audio settings. So once that's hooked up, uh, there's a couple other things you'll have to do here. <clears throat> so on the Voxengo, you've got to point it to the digital output. Uh, I'm using for the buffer count, I'm using 16 with buffer size 512. This worked for me. I tried turning it all down to get it as fast as possible and I was just getting pops and clicks. This did the job. Uh, so perfect. The other thing you have to change the output from a uh, file, which it's going to try to record a wave file. Instead, if you click on the word file, it changes it to MME and then that just sends it in through your driver instead. Um, and then you just hit the start and that turns it, it says stop, but you'll see uh, it's, it'll start running. So this is, uh, it's not recording anything. It's just basically sending the data now out of uh, this plugin into the, uh, the digital output of the Realtek digital output. So that's what gets it to send the audio into uh, OBS via the audio output capture. So with that, now I can do things like uh, give little demos of things. Uh, so here's a shorty. Um, this is uh, just a guitar riff I stole from the internet, a uh, DI recording. And I'm going to show you the plugin shootout. Uh, I'll do a bigger video on this once uh, we get everything finalized. But this is pretty cool. A uh, guy, Callum Vaughn, uh, helped uh, me. Well, I helped him, rather. Uh, build this. He's a Max for Live developer, uh, script writer, designer guy. Um, the work he does is stellar. I gave him a couple of ideas and he just kept on throwing together new version after new version, getting this thing down. So let me show you. Uh, basic idea is you throw this into a group with a bunch of plugins that are all a lot like each other. For instance, I'm doing guitar uh, amp sims. And I'm just going to play some audio here and you can see I'll hit the buttons and it swaps the next plugin. So pretty awesome. Uh, it turns all the other ones off, turns the next one on you can go backwards. Uh, let's say I don't like this one. I can hit the delete button and that just kills that one. 
And then we're on to the next one. Uh, yeah, I don't like this one either, so I'll hit delete. And that'll pop it over. Uh, I like this one here. Let's say I've got 50 of them in here and I'm just super confused. I can hit move to front, and that's going to throw that guy in as first place. So as I'm going through these, I can pretty much choose the one that I want. Uh, choose the, you know, the next one that I want, the next one that I want, and then delete the rest. But now I've got all of my favorites are over at the front of the stack. So that's going to be pretty awesome for when I'm mixing and I want to pick out reverbs or compressors or amp sims. Uh, so yeah, cool little device. Uh, something else, uh, since I'm recording all of this in one shot, it's all going to a single uh, audio instance inside OBS. Um, I am live mixing this in Ableton. So you can see I've got a compressor on my guitar channel, and this is sidechain to my vocal. So what's going on here is I'm just dipping the guitars. You can see whenever I'm talking, the guitars go down, but then if I'm quiet, you can see the guitars come back. So this is just, you know, kind of kind of a, a crappy sound, but you know, I'm just throwing it together to kind of give examples of how this works. I'm still figuring it out. I got this all working yesterday, so you know, I think this works decently. But anyway, uh, yeah, something else. I got uh, M Convolution Easy as is uh, has quickly become my new favorite impulse response loader. This thing, uh, it doesn't have any of the delay sync. It doesn't have blend or anything, but what it does have is the ability to super quickly choose new impulse responses with a single click, or you can use your arrow keys and your keyboard, go up and down. And uh, yeah, that's super awesome. Uh, you can dig through your folders, you know, super fast. This is always visible here. So you can just go grab anything you want. And it, it'll jump to the next, on the next folder, it'll just grab whatever's in there, if there's something in there. Uh, that's, you know, pretty stellar. So, yep, there you go, little little demo. Oh, here, one more thing. This is pretty awesome. Uh, M Cabinet is the ability to export these files. I'll show these in another video, bigger breakdown. Uh, I would call this like a tertiary uh, impulse response. It's a second impulse response that you put uh, after the, your first one. So this one's doing the cabinet sim, and then I got this other one here with these guys loaded. Listen to the difference between with this on and off. So that's with it off. So you can hear it's just kind of mono. Well, it is mono, and it just doesn't sound as interesting. But you throw it on, and it sounds a lot more lively. So and you can make these super quick, and you can randomize them and just keep exporting them. Like I got another one here. And then another one I tried to do that didn't sound so good. But, you know, maybe you're going for an effect or whatever. So, yeah, I'll do another video on that guy. I'll do another video on the plug-in shootout. Um, <clears throat> you know, plenty of stuff coming now because I'm able to quickly uh, make videos without having to do any kind of audio editing, any kind of, like, you know, I don't have to line up my audio from my video file to a external recording uh, from Ableton. You know, all of this stuff is all getting into OBS kind of pre-mixed and ready to go. It's like one and done, you know, like I'm just going to hit the stop recording button and then just upload this. So that's uh, a way nicer workflow and uh, pretty cool. So, yeah, cool. Let me know if you have any questions uh, with this. I'll do my best to help. Um, this is such a frustrating thing trying to get Osseo audio into OBS. I have no idea why it's so difficult. Uh, you know, I tried Odious. I tried, uh, what else? The Rhea stream, like the actual Osseo for OBS. Like I tried all these other things and just none of them could work. Um, and I gave this one a shot and it worked instantly. And so I was, uh, fucking thrilled. All right. Yeah. So there you go. Let me know if you got any questions and, uh, take it easy. See ya.